Hello everyone, Chaos here, and welcome to another old school RuneScape video. Today, my revamped 1 to 99 fishing guide. As the name suggests, with fishing you will be catching sea creatures, mostly to process with a cooking skill, to later use as healing items for combat. Other activities involve catching fish for other purposes, but this is mainly it. A lot of people hate on skills such as runecrafting, mining, and agility, but in my honest opinion, gathering skills such as fishing are much worse, since it offers a low experience and sometimes even zero profit when doing traditional methods. Regardless, we will check out tons of ways to level up, so if this video is useful, remember to subscribe when notifications on, drop a cheeky like, and consider becoming a channel member for tons of benefits including instant access to our Discord. These are all the quests that provide fishing experience as of the time of making this video. Remember that some of them have a fishing level requirement themselves, and you may not be able to do them right away. When it comes to questing, fishing is pretty weird because it's also a pretty slow skill during the early levels. And there aren't many things we can do to speed it up, except for two quests we will check out in a little bit. Overall, no quest provides a life-changing fishing experience, so no need to worry too much. When it comes to a few quests and other activities I recommend for the skill, we have Bone Voyage. This will grant access to Fossil Island, where a great hybrid training method is located, and this is also a must-have for other scaling methods. In order to catch Monkfish, which we will also talk about, you will need completion of the Swan Song quest. To catch Karambwan, the quest the Taibo 1A Trio is needed, where you will learn how to catch them. These are the only quests needed for specific methods, so now we move on to other requirements that will aid us in fishing. First, we have Song of the Elves. After completion of this Grandmaster quest, you are able to make and use crystal tools, and one of them will be mentioned during the next category. Next and finally, you should aim to fully complete the Barbarian Training Mini Quest, which honestly doesn't even show us a mini quest, and it only takes a few minutes to get to the part where we need fishing, but the entire thing is pretty short. Alright, so that was a pretty short list compared to some of the previous guides. Now for some useful items, starting with fishing tools. You obviously can't catch any fish without these, and I will briefly mention what you need to catch each creature during the road to 99. But make sure to keep tools in your bank such as normal and fly fishing rods, bait, feathers, and the lobster pot just to name a few. One item that will help us all throughout the skill is a dragon harpoon. When wearing it, you may perform a special attack which boosts your fishing level by 3, so it's always nice to have for an extra push. The Infernal Harpoon is obtained by combining a Dragon Harpoon with a Smoldering Stone, and when fishing, it has a chance to cook fish when caught. It is a great item to have for passive experience in the cooking skill. The Crystal Harpoon is obtained by combining a Dragon Pickaxe with a Crystal Tool Seed. This is 35% more effective than a Dragon Harpoon, and will provide slightly more experience per hour, but you will need to charge it with Crystal Shards eventually. We also have the Angler's Outfit. This set can be obtained at the Fishing Trawler activity, for which you need level 15 fishing. If you need it, I have an old guide on how to do it, but be warned, it can take a pretty, pretty long time. It will give us a 2.5% bonus fishing experience when fishing, and it's mandatory for one of the methods we will talk about later. The Fishing Barrel is obtained as a random reward from Temporos, and will allow you to store a combined total of 28 raw fish. It is great for you to extend your trips, and also let you AFK for longer periods of time. Lastly, if you train Temporos, you will get an item called Spirit Flakes. This is used to upgrade the Angler's Outfit into the Spirit Angler's Outfit, but most importantly, if you have them on you when fishing, one will be consumed each time you catch a fish, and you will have a 50% chance to catch an extra item. It is extremely useful for extra profits, and of course for Ironman accounts. When it comes to plugins, we have different ones for certain activities. We're gonna start with a plugin simply called Fishing. This will highlight fishing spots all throughout the game, and it is great since some spots can actually be pretty sneaky. I also highly advise for you to go to the plugin hub and download the Temporos plugin, which will give you tons of visual cues when doing this activity. You don't need it 100%, but it will make things much smoother. Lastly, there's a plugin called the Drift Net. This will be useful for the hybrid method I mentioned before, and just like Temporos, this one is not mandatory, but will make things a lot easier. So, get it to try out this activity eventually. Alright, scapers, just like mining, our fishing journey will start by, well, not doing any fishing at all. This time, we are looking for two quests. The first one is Sea Slug, for which you need level 30 fire making, and this you can only get in a few minutes. And the payout is great, since you will get level 24 fishing without any other requirement. You may also do the fishing contest, and this will take us from 24 all the way to 26. Both are pretty short, and you will do them faster than you can get to even level 20 by just fishing. Okay, now grab your fly fishing rod with feathers, and head east of Barbarian Village. Here, you are going to catch trout and salmon until level 35. If you're an Ironman, I would suggest banking all the fish, and it's not really far away from Varrock's West Bank. 
As an unrestricted account, it's just much better to simply cook the fish on the nearby fire and then drop it to continue fishing. You won't be here for long, and you can even stay for a few extra levels to speed up the next method. You will be getting anywhere between 15k experience per hour when starting out, jumping to 20 or 25k depending on how much you are AFK. But EXP per hour isn't really a thing for something you won't even be doing for even 2 hours. That is not the case for our next method, which is Temporos, one of the newest ways to train the skill since my previous guide. I will only talk about the method in Mass World since we are focusing on experience. If you would rather focus on points, the solo method is much better, and I will leave a link to a great guide in the description below. Go to Alcarid and board the little boat southwest of the bank. This will take you to the starting area where you can gear up to fight Temporos. This is what I personally wear, but realistically all you need is a harpoon, a hammer, rope, and a few buckets which you can fill up when the game starts. Go on the ship and you will have to wait a few seconds for it to set sail. You will land on an island where you will have to catch harpoon fish until you have a full inventory. For more points, go ahead and cook the fish on a nearby range. Once done, go back to the ship and click on the cannons to load them up with ammo. Eventually, Temporos will hide underwater, and you will have to run to the docks to click on the pool in order to deal damage. Repeat this until the HP is down to zero. And if you want more experience, avoid cooking, since you are going to be fishing a lot more. That was obviously easier said than done. So, here are a few more things to watch out for. When fishing, cooking, or loading up the cannons, your screen will eventually start to turn blue and you will see nearby NPCs scream that a wave is coming. Quickly click on the totem if you're on the beach or on the mast if you are on the ship to tether yourself and avoid being watched. If you don't do this, you will lose some of your items in the inventory, including the valuable harpoon fish, so always keep an eye on that one. Another thing to watch out for are clouds which will fly around. And when they stop moving, they will charge up for a few seconds and then they are going to light the ground on fire. If you have buckets of water on you, simply click on the fire to extinguish it. You may refill the buckets on the nearby docks, or use a humidify spell on the lunar spellbook. When Temporos reaches 0 HP, you can click on the nearby NPC to abandon the island, and you will go back to the starting area. Depending on your performance, you will gain permits, which will let you loot the pool for rewards, most of which will be raw fish, and then you can also obtain a Dragon Harpoon, Tome of Water, Soaked Pages, Caskets, and most importantly, the Temper Ross Pet. Up next we have a hybrid method called Drift Net Fishing. It offers decent fishing and hunter experience per hour, but you will spend a bit of money. Go to Fossil Island where you would farm giant seaweed, and prepare the loadout on this tiny island next to the boat. Copy the gear you see on screen, consisting of a Merfolk Trident, Diving gear, graceful, and flippers obtained from mogers. In your inventory, take Nomulite, Stamina Potions, and Noted Drift Nets. Dive underwater and then head north. Pay this NPC 200 Nomulite per day, or 20,000 Nomulite for unlimited access, and you will be able to enter. Talk to this other NPC inside to store your Noted Nets, and then take them out for the unnoted item. Click on these spots to set them up, and we are ready for the method. The idea behind drift net fishing is to chase the fish around until they hit the net. Once they are past the ground markers you see on screen, click on them so they can be lured into the net. Do this until there are 10 fish in there, and then click on it to check it, and you may grab the fish or discard them. Honestly, it's just better to throw them away to achieve higher experience per hour. Once you've done this, you will need to click on the spot again for another trap, and repeat this process until needed. I honestly didn't even know about this method until recently. The wiki says you can get upwards of 80k fishing and 110k hunter experience per hour. But doing it in a more relaxed and chill way, I was getting between 50 and 70k. A great hybrid training method, but quite frankly, it's way too click intensive for me. Something that isn't click intensive at all is barbarian fishing. For this, you need to have completed Barbarian training up to the fishing part, and then once done, you will unlock one of the most chill methods in the entire skill. Go southwest of the Barbarian outpost with a Barbarian fishing rod and feathers, click on one of the fishing spots, and simply wait for a full inventory to drop all the poor fish. This is what I personally did from like 70 all the way to 99, because just like mining, when I think of fishing, I really just think of a relaxing AFK experience. I recommend starting this at level 58 to catch two types of fish, and at least a 35k XP per hour, jumping to around 50k at level 80. Pretty slow, but not a lot of attention needed. If you want to achieve a carpal tunnel early in life, you may also do this 3 tick fishing. Bring Swamp Tar, Clean Guam, a Pestle and Mortar, and by holding down the spacebar, click on the fishing spot, and after catching a fish, use the Clean Guam on the Pestle and Mortar. As soon as the action starts, click on the fishing spot again. 
When your inventory is full, simply drop all the fish, or if you have better rhythm, you may drop them as soon as you catch them to achieve upwards of 100,000 experience per hour at higher levels. Not really my cup of tea though, but you can give this a try if you don't like the skill. Now, going back to click intensive, we will cover another tick manipulation method, which can yield the highest fishing experience per hour in the game. For this, we are going to be harpooning tuna and swordfish in the northern part of Piscarillus. A crystal harpoon is almost mandatory to achieve the desired experience per hour. The quote-unquote difficult or annoying part about this is setting it up and getting into the rhythm. You want to use a low-level curse spell on some rats roaming around and get them to attack you at different intervals. If they attack you on the same tick, you will have to move in order for you to off-tick them. If this happens, I recommend walking under one of the rats so it takes one hit to target. Once that's done, if you have menu entry swapper on the rune light, shift right click the fishing spot to change the default option from cage lobster to harpoon fish. All that's left is to click on the fishing spot every two ticks, and the rats attacking you will kinda make it so the catching fish rate refreshes, and it will be extremely likely for you to continuously catch tuna and swordfish. You may drop fish between actions, or just wait for a full inventory and drop them all to continue gaining experience. I would personally just drop a full inventory since this method is already intensive enough. With a crystal harpoon and 90 plus fishing, it is possible to gain anywhere between 100 to 130,000 experience per hour. So, if fishing is not one of your favorites, you can definitely speed it up with this method. Alright, scapers, we are now jumping into the alternative methods, and the most classic way to get to level 99 fishing would be by simply catching and banking fish from 40 all the way to 99. You will focus on lobsters, monkfish, carambon, and finally anglerfish for you to make the most profit on your way to skill mastery. I have this as an alternative method because, just like mining, PBM drops and temporals have devalued fish by quite a bit over the years, so it's not as profitable as it used to be. I would suggest skipping on sharks since they are extremely slow, and don't forget about those spirit flakes for even more profit per hour. Something I wouldn't even do with a gun pointed at my forehead is aerial fishing, but it's an okay way of obtaining wearable fishing rods to save an extra inventory space. Go to this little island in Zaya with a knife, talk to the person in the middle to get a bird without gloves or any items in your hand, and take some food from the nearby spots. Then click on the fishing icons for your buddy to catch some fish. When you have some, use a knife on them to get even more food for the bird, and do this until you have achieved your goal. You will also get hunter experience for this, but honestly it's just way too slow for both and you're better off doing drift net fishing. If you have the full angler's outfit, go to the fishing guild north of Artie, and then talk to this NPC to go to the minnows platform. Minnows are tiny stackable fish that move around the platform quite frequently, and by doing this you can exchange 40 of them for one noted shark. This can yield anywhere between 40 to 55k XP per hour, but quite honestly it's just mostly for Ironman and Ultimate Ironman accounts looking for sharks without fishing. Also, if you are fishing and if you see a fish jumping around, move away and go to another spot. If you have balls or ovaries of steel, the most profitable method we covered on one of my previous videos is fishing dark crabs. I recommend going to the resource area in the wilderness with a bit of GP, and most importantly a lobster pot and a dark fishing bait. When you have a full inventory, use your rock crabs on the NPC in the area, and stay here for as long as you don't encounter any cheeky PKers. This will land you between 30 and 40k XP per hour, and 400 to 500k GP in the same time, assuming you don't bank or hop a lot. The last method we will cover for an even 10 is fishing sacred eels. Go to the fairy ring code BJS with a fishing rod, fishing bait and a knife, and then go to this area near some wooden structures for you to click sacred eel spots. When you have some, use a knife on them to turn them into Zulra scales, for which you will gain a little bit of cooking experience. Keep in mind that this is pretty slow and not extremely profitable, but it's a really good AFK method for you to start doing at level 87. Ladies and gentlemen, time to talk about different ways to achieve this wonderful cape, and as always I will show you how to make it AFK, profitable or even fast as heck, depending on how you want to approach it. All the roadmaps will start at level 26 because of the initial quests. Like I said before, I would personally just AFK the entire skill, especially as an unrestricted account. After your two quests, do fly fishing from 26 to 58, then barbarian fishing from 58 to 99, or you may even stop at level 87 to focus on sacred eels until skill mastery for you to be able to make a little bit of profit, since during barbarian fishing you're gonna just drop everything and not make any money. For profit, simply bank all the fish you catch. Fly fishing from 26 to 40, lobsters from 40 to 62, 
Monkfish from 62 to 65, Karamwon from 65 to 82, and then Anglers from 82 to 99. Or, if you want something slightly faster and more profitable, start fishing and dissecting sacred eels from 87 to 99. For even more profit, you may do Temporos from 40 to 62 or 65 for you to get Spirit Flakes and make even more money with a high-end fish. Just remember that this is going to be painfully slow, but you're gonna make some money. Now, if fishing is not your favorite, just like me, and you want to speedrun it, do fly fishing from 26 to 50, drift net fishing from 50 to 71, and finally get yourself a crystal harpoon to start to two-tick fishing tuna and swordfish until level 99. Boys and girls of all ages, that's pretty much it for the fishing guide. Thank you so much for coming and for making it this far. If you did, make sure to tell me how you would get level 99 fishing or if you already have it. A massive thank you to all my channel members. You boys and girls are absolutely insane and your support goes a long way. If you want to be part of this list of legends, click on the join button below to subscribe monetarily and receive a ton of benefits in the videos, in the live streams and of course in the Discord. Stay tuned for the next video and of course for the next 1 to 99 guide where we will see how to achieve mastery in the agility skill. Have an amazing day, have an amazing week and I will see you then. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, peace.